Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to part three of the beginner stream series. And today we're going to be taking a look at customizing your layout and how you want your stream to look. If you've been following along with the series, then much appreciated. If you haven't, then I hope this video helps in its own way. Uh, there are multiple ways of doing it, so I'll try and cover the best and what I think is easy enough for beginners. And if you've got your own artwork or videos that you want to use, then I'll show you how to use them as well. The fantastic thing about this nowadays is that there's so many services, be it paid ones or free ones, that you guys can use to customize your stream in really any way you want it to be. Uh, you get services like Stream Elements and Stream Labs, or you've got custom websites like Fiverr, Nerd or Die, or like Owned TV, and they all provide you with different themes or layouts or alert pop-ups or camera borders or anything really. It's, it's all kind of all-inclusive package. For the purpose of this tutorial though, I will be using Stream Elements because I feel like it's more beginner friendly and easier to set up. And if you're getting custom ones from say Fiverr or Nerd or Die, uh, I'll show you how to implement those as well. Firstly though, we'll take a look at using Stream Elements and getting that all set up for your stream. And then afterwards we will take a look at adding your own custom images, videos, etc. Okay, head on over to the Stream Elements website. We are met with this welcome page, if you haven't logged in before, where you can link your Twitch, your Facebook gaming, your YouTube, or your Mixer account. This will then allow Stream Elements to access your statistics and view what's going on in your channel. So, assuming you're following along with the tutorial, and we're going to use Twitch with OBS, we're going to click Twitch here. But, I've already done that, so I'm going to close down the tab. And if you've logged in before, you'll see this page. So once you've authenticated your account, or if you've previously logged in and you're returning back to the site, you'll be met with this button. So if I hit my dashboard, it takes me to the same page. So loading up the Stream Elements page, you are met with your dashboard. Now, there are a lot of things on this website that are available for you to use. But as we're focusing on customizing your stream, we are going to head on over to the right where it says alerts and overlays. And we're going to be using the themes gallery and the my overlays tabs here go ahead and click into my overlays and i'll show you what i've got at the moment i currently have the talk show animated super theme as i was having a look at what it was and then i have some custom ones above that that i've made myself chances are if you've not done this before this page will be blank for you head on over to the themes gallery back on the left hand side these are pre-made and free to use for anybody using stream elements and they come set up, ready to go. All you need to do is go in and change things such as social links or social names. For using this, we will go ahead and demonstrate that. So if you want to use one of these, let's say we want to use this first one here, this operator for Valorant. As you can see, these are all different games. League, Hearthstone, Magic the Gathering. These are some variety, one, variety ones. So we'll head on over here and we'll click create. This opens up a little preview so you can see what it looks like. Uh, there you go. There's some alerts popping up. It's a nice starting, starting soon screen. Be right back. So we'll name it here. We'll name it Valorant. And then we'll click create. Now this gives you a bunch of links. But what we're going to do is we're going to click see the theme in my overlays. And this is going to transfer us back to the my overlays tab and you'll now have the operator theme here if you want to edit one what we can do is hit edit so i'm going to use the starting soon one and it will open up that theme and a different page now here you can see you've got a stream chat a nice little character here starting soon with a countdown clock and some youtube and what looks like facebook and twitch if you want to edit anything on this scene it's all listed in the layers on this left hand side here so if we're looking for Let's say we want to change the Twitter handle. So we head on over here to Socials Edit and you can click where it says Twitter and then scroll down here to where it says Sends and it'll allow you to change the message in the Sends. So I'm going to make it my own personal Twitter. And you can see that that's updated there on this right hand side. So you can go through this and do it for all your socials. If you want to hide some, so let's say we want to hide the Instagram one. These are, unfortunately aren't labeled here, but you can see that that's enabling all these 
so there we are there's the icon is disabled and you can hide youtube instagram you can hide all of these individually and just have it so that it only shows your twitter once you're done you can head up here and click save and then over on the left hand side you can click back to head back to the dashboard and you can follow through and do that for each of these all your settings are all always on the left hand side in the layers panel and once you've edited them you can go ahead and add them to obs when you're ready to add these into your own obs you can click the three little dots here and hit copy url then what you can do is head on over to obs just as a starter we can head into this bottom corner here where it says scenes and you can add a new scene and call it start and soon i've got mine as start and soon example and then go one box over hit the plus down here and you're looking for browser here click browser and this will allow you you'll see existing ones if you've added one any before and you've been messing around or we can do starting soon video as this is the i'll actually going to rename this to browser as this is your browser source for your start soon, your start and soon screen you want the source to be visible and then we're going to hit ok and then you get this dialog box you want to paste your url in here that you copied from the stream elements website and all the sources you get from stream elements are all 1920 by 1080 you can leave the rest of it as is and then hit ok and there we are it's loaded as you can see here mine has a black box around it that's because my screen size is set to be in 1440p instead of 1080p what you need to do is drag it if it's not scaled properly and you'll be fine if your canvas size is set to 720 it will be too big and you can scale it down the same way alternatively you can right click here go to transform and then hit fit to screen and it'll do it you can then go and repeat this for all your other sources so i'm going to do that just now and then i'll come back when i've added the rest of them in. so now that i've chosen the ones that i want from the super theme uh, i haven't done any more editing to them so they are when you see them in obs is how they come it automatically it updates in obs as soon as you make a change in stream elements so when you hit make a change like changing your social links or moving position it happens straight away in order to have it in obs i have added in a starting soon an in-game an animated brb screen and the animated end scene and if we go through these are browser sources with a little world icon it's the same here with the end screen you can see up here that's got your social links the only downside is that you need to individually go through and edit each of these and each scene so as you can see up here this hasn't changed from when i made it before this one hasn't changed up here either and in the Valorant gameplay scene, I have added in a little video of some Valorant gameplay to show you guys what it would look like when you're playing a game. Now, you'll notice up here it's got socials up in this corner. It has a bit that says your name here. These are things that you'll need to go through and edit yourself using the same method I showed before. In order to add a video source or a webcam in here, that's what this is for us, for a webcam. If you want to have one, of course you don't need to have one. You would go into here and click the plus and then click video capture device. And I've got one here and it'll click OK and it'll open up this. So as you can see here, it's actually picked up my HD60 and I'll demonstrate with this how to get it to fit the box. So right now it's on top and it covers it up. So what you can do is go down here and drag it down one and that puts it behind and then simply line the corners up and make it fit into the box just like that. And there you are. Right now nothing's plugged in, that's why it says no signal, but this is what it would look like, this would be your webcam here. And it's that simple. Each of your little followers, subscribers, you can hide this if you're not an affiliate. If you want to show it, then you can. It's all done in the Stream Elements website. In order for your own gameplay to show up here, all you have to do is head down to the bottom where it says Sources, and click Plus, and then Add a Game Capture. This will open up a little dialog box and you can select any application we change it to capture capture specific window you can choose what you've got i've got the go xlr and then obs open that is able to be captured and then it's the same thing you can see down here that it's on top you want to drag this down below so that it's at the bottom 
and it's then at the back. So right now the gameplay source would be behind here and then these are stacked on top. Okay, so if we look at adding the pre-made scenes to OBS that are provided to you by Stream Elements and now we're going to have a look at creating your own overlay, uh, setting up the way you like it and including what you want. So we're back on the Stream Elements my overlays tab here as you can see on the right hand side and up the top I've got my own personal ones which are labeled personal here are the valid ones we've looked at and we're going to head up here where it says create blank overlay so this is going to open up a new page for us and we're going to choose a resolution so I'm going to leave it at 1080p we're going to hit start and then this is now the blank overlay that we can add to so first things first all we need to do is head over here to the left hand side where it says add widget and we can click add and it'll give us a list here of different things that we can add to our overlay so if you want a little alert box to pop up when somebody follows or subscribes you can go into alerts and click alert box that then adds a box in this top left corner and you can freely drag it around anywhere you like in order to see your alerts, what you can do is head down here to where it says emulate and you can click on any of these, it doesn't matter what one, and they should have a little pop up, a little sound effect. But if you want to change any of this, all you need to do is simply click on here and it brings up your settings panel on the left. You can change your position below that. Uh, if you click center widget, it puts it right in the middle of your screen. You can change the, the width by dragging the corners here or by changing the information on the left. And then you can reposition it using the left as well. So right now, for this example, we'll have it centered just so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go up here to the settings tab and I'm going to go into follow alert. I'm going to hit the little settings cog here you can see that it's all enabled so if you don't want any of these you can have them disabled so in the settings for the follow alert you can change the layout if you want the image to be behind the text if you want the image to be to the left or if you want it to be on top you can change the message using bracket name this can be customized and it changes what your message says when somebody follows up the very top though you can click set image or change video so right now it's this little video if you have your own image or your own video you can go in into here and add it and it will show your personal image or your personal video you'll also see if we look down that there are variations there are text-to-speech settings text settings and animation settings so you can individually go into each of your following your subscriber your cheer alerts and change all of this just for this same alert box. So if you have been on, let's say, Own TV or Nerd or Die, and you've purchased one of their packages, you can add that into your overlay so that it's handled by the same browser source and doesn't put strain on your computer. To do that, you come down to the bottom left and then you can go up to Static or Custom and you can add text, images, videos, little slideshow, or anything custom so we're going to leave the custom one and we're going to click image just for the example purpose it brings up this little box here and what you want to do I've already got some images uploaded so when I click set image here you'll see ones that I've already got uploaded so I've got some camera borders some wallpaper and in order to do it to add to this all you need to do is hit upload here and you can drag and drop onto here. Okay, so I've now dragged and dropped this little emote onto the page and it has detected the edges, it's asking me to crop it, that's fine, so I'm going to leave it, I'm going to hit upload here and then it's now available to use. So, to get it to show, you hit submit and it'll pick up your, your little image there. You can rescale it and you can drag it around, have it shown anywhere. Let's put it there just now. If you have a webcam border, you can do the exact same thing. So you go in, add a static 
image or a video if it's an animated one you set your image and you can have this one so there we go we can scale up and make it a nice big easy to see webcam border we'll drag it down a little bit and these little black sections here I want to add in some text so what I can do here is go in static and text and it appears at the top left and you can add in anything so what you can do is change the message over here and have it say maybe your name so I'll stick in my name here I'm going to position this just inside this box and that's how you add some text as I mentioned before there are lots of things in here that you can add so I highly recommend that you guys go through here and have a look to see if you want to include anything on your stream all of these can be included in pre-made themes as well so if you like the Valorant one but let's say you want one of these little uh, what is it? The, this little hype cup you can include it here so right now this is loading okay so this is loaded up a little Santa looking guy must be set on the Christmas theme to change this all you do is go over here on the left hand side hit the little cog and you can make it a spooky one for Halloween and we can overwrite and there we are there's a little Halloween one so let's say we've finished adding this now we're going to stick this one down in the bottom corner and we want to use this on OBS what we need to do is hit save and we can name it. I'm going to name mine test overlay just as an example to show you guys. And then we're going to hit back here. And now you can see test overlay is now appeared here. We can hit copy URL and swap over to OBS. And from OBS, all you want to do is add in the scene like we had before. I've now removed the opposite of the other one so that you can see more clearer clearly. We're going to add a browser put in our URL and change this to 1928 by 1080 and when I fit this to size you'll see that it loads up my image with my text my little image here and a little loading icon that's the way where the little pumpkin shows up so there we are that's it loaded and that's us done uh, hopefully you've been able to find a design or a layout or a theme that suits you or your brand and you can then build and develop on that over time. If you've got any questions about anything that was in this video, feel free to leave a comment. Um, please do hit like, subscribe, I will try and get more. I've got a bit more free time now and I've kind of got a bit of a plan for, for what's coming out in the future. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.